guys doing I got a haul video here for you and I got some things that I got in the mail some things that I ordered and uh, yeah let's get into it and the first thing I'll show you is right back here I have been eyeballing this Pacific baby because I like the bag and I think he's cool I have a ton of these things uh, but this one specifically I've been eyeballing for a long time um, ever since this one first started hitting store shelves and I went into Walmart, he was in the wrong spot and I was going to get him if I had the money, but, uh, I asked the lady, Hey, how much is this? Cause he's in the wrong spot. You know, she said 10 bucks for clearancing him out. And this was the last one in store. So I bought a cool little bag, you know, cool little baby. Yoda. So that's cool. Um, then I've been eyeballing these Billy Joel albums that are like Walmart exclusives, uh, these are for the 50th anniversary of Billy Joel. Um, yeah, 52 Street. I have this album on CD. Now I have it on vinyl. It's a great album. I've been listening to it for the past hour now. Um, so that's cool. The Batman novelization. I bought this at uh, on Amazon two days before the movie came out. And it just now showed up yesterday, which uh, was kind of frustrating. But I really... Um, I'm excited to read through this novelization. It's only like, it's less than 140 pages, so it's not that long of a read. And I'll probably do a video on that once I dive into it. I was hoping to do that sooner, but you know, the book took forever to show up. Damn it. <laughs> um, I guess I'll show you the DVD and then get into the Blu-rays. I bought this at Walmart, Aeon Flux, the complete collection. This is 13 bucks. I have a feeling that this is going out of print soon. Uh... I think Daria and some other MTV, you know, Paramount release DVDs are out of print. And that's kind of frustrating. I want to grab it. So, um, I've never seen Aeon Flex. I've heard things. I've never seen the movie either, the live action movie. I've heard things. But this has all the shorts that were created before this was greenlit as a series. Has a ton of bonus features. Interesting uh, show. I really like that creepy cover with the fly on the front. Very interesting series very noteworthy um uh, but yeah i wanted to check that out definitely heard things haven't seen it though and then the, i guess we'll just start with the ones i bought off of um amazon and then we'll go into the one i got at walmart i guess we're back to dinosaur story this is a very weird movie uh, but I bought this because you know i've been i don't know i, I bought balto american tale land before time those and this is the only one of those kind of sets of movies that are kind of Don Bluth era animation, even though this one's not a Don Bluth film. Uh, neither is Balto, but, you know, they're kind of in the same area, same ballpark, and it was like 10 bucks. There's no bonus features with these Blu-ray releases. They're just the movies in definition. So 10 bucks is a good uh, price for these. But, yeah, I very weird movie. Never seen it in HD. And, yeah, I definitely want to check that out. So... I bought the Evil Dead remake because uh, I bought the 4K Groovy collection, which has the first two Evil Deads on 4K and the series on Blu-ray. And then I have Army of Darkness. The only one I was missing was the Evil Dead remake, which surprisingly I've heard great things about. Like, it's one of those movies that if you don't know there's an Evil Dead remake, you immediately assume, okay, this is going to be shit. People are going to hate this. But no, it's actually got some somewhat decent reviews some people prefer it over the original some people uh more mixed on it some people like it so it's kind of it's kind of like there's actually some decent responses to this remake sh shockingly uh nomadland uh, i picked this one up because uh it went on sale uh for nine bucks uh this movie is uh this movie's all right i waited to grab it because it wasn't worth any more than nine bucks because I'm still holding a grudge uh, at this movie for winning Best Picture. It did not deserve it. I don't care what you think of this film. It, it did not deserve Best Picture. This movie only got Best Picture because look at that little logo down there. Oh, that's a Fox logo. Guess who owns Fox? Disney. And, you know, Chloe Zhao went from this movie to The Eternals. So basically, Disney bought an award and said, here you go, you're making a Marvel movie, free Oscar. And, and also they got diversity points because she's a woman. Not, not saying that 
Um, that's like a criticism of mine is that she's a woman. I don't really care. It's just that, you know, it's clear why they did that. It's very politically motivated. And I just wish that this film had not won Best Picture at all. And it's a decent watch. It's an interesting movie. I mean, I bought it. I'm going to rewatch it, obviously. Uh, this, I mean, this movie is about a girl, or uh, not a girl, <laughs> uh, this woman who decides, screw life, I'm going to go live in this van. And she goes and lives in this van. And, uh, yeah, and it, it's kind of like a documentary type feel movie. It's not a documentary, but it feels like one about these people living in a van. And it's an, it, it came out on Hulu and in theaters. I watched it on Hulu when it dropped. Uh, and, you know, again, decent watch. Just very insulting, that little sticker there. It says, winner of three Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Judas and the Black Messiah deserves that way more than that. But then I found this randomly at Walmart. I was looking in the Blu-ray section, you know, and this is where I got AR Flux, you know. Just looking in the section, and then they randomly had the slipcover of Rio on Blu-ray for five bucks. I didn't have any of the Rio movies. I'm trying to get all the Blue Sky movies because I'm still very irritated and sad that that studio is no longer around. And, you know, they made some pretty decent movies. And Rio is one of those decent movies. It's not a great movie, but it's a decent watch, and I haven't seen it in a long time. This one also had the digital copy. It's got a slipcover, which surprised me because I didn't think these had slipcovers. I need to get Rio, too. At some point, you know, Rio 2 is garbage, but yeah, <laughs> I have all those, and uh, yeah, I, I that's just my little haul. Uh, I was hoping my close encounters of the third kind of uh, 4K, which went on sale for 10 bucks, would show up by now, but didn't. Uh, it's, it looks like there's some delay with that, so who knows when that's coming, but whenever it comes, uh, I'll you know throw it into another haul video or something, and yeah, we'll talk about that. But I'm excited to rewatch that movie in 4K. And, you know, I got some really cool movies here to watch through, um, which I've been slowly making my way through movies in my collection. You know, you know I found, you know, um, there are a lot of movies in my collection that I've just not done a good job at watching. Like what's literally happened is I would, I start watching some of these movies um, that I've owned for a year or more. And I open them up and they still have the digital copies. Now I take out the digital copies and actually use them. So if they're not, if they're still in there, that means I never open up those copies, which is maddening to me. Because again, some of these movies I own for a year or more. So I've been do, trying to do a better job of actually watching the movies I buy. And so far it's actually been working out really well this year. I've almost watched the majority of the movies in my collections that I haven't watched or I uh, watched halfway through and turned them off and finish them, you know, things like that. I'm actually making through progress in my collection i've watched 95 percent of my collection now which is was something i couldn't say before so really cool